This is going to be a very simple use case that I put together for this demo. And what we're going to try to do is automating Outlook using Power Automate. I'm going to move to the next screen. A little bit of background of myself. I am uh, Deepak Srivasta based out of Houston. I'm Microsoft MVP. I also a leader of Houston Power Platform User Group. I'm also an MCT, Microsoft Certified Trainer. Some of the other, my uh, social media, I have a YouTube channel if you want to check. I I, I post the videos about Power Platform specifically, but SharePoint and other Microsoft features, and my Twitter handle and my LinkedIn and website. So feel free to connect me there. So what we are understanding and learning today. So sometimes we have a need where we want to save an Outlook email that has been received for us, for me or for, for anyone, with the attachment to a local drive or maybe SharePoint. And how we are doing it or how we generally do it, we either save the, we open the Outlook email and save it and then download all the attachment and do it, everything manually. So what I'm going to try to show you that how you can automate this entire process with predefined uh, logic that you're going to apply and saving that entire Outlook email, all of it, all of it at attachments to a predefined SharePoint folder so that in the, in the future, if you want to go back and check those emails, you can easily find it. The demo use case, uh, very simple use case, as you're going to see once I'm going to show you the flow. I'm going to talk about the SharePoint setup, what you need in the SharePoint, what Power Automate triggers and action that you're going to use, and what all different Outlook actions that we are going to use. So very simple, and I don't have many slides. Let's jump into the demo straightforward from here. So let me, so I'll start with the SharePoint. Again, in the SharePoint also, you're not really going to do too much, but let me talk about uh, the process. This process you can also work around and, and change it. So what I have done here, I've created a document library called emails and what that, e that email document library is for. So whenever I'm going to receive an email and I I'm going to have a predefined uh, text that I'm going to find in the subject line of an email. And if that text is there in the subject line, what I'm going to do, I'm going to trigger my Power Automate get that email, get all of the attachments, and create a folder in this email document library with the name of the sender and the timestamp. So you see here, I have a sample folder here. So my name, because I try to send email to myself for this demo, and it is having a timestamp. So whenever I'm gonna receive an email from someone with that predefined text in the subject line, the Power Automate will trigger, it will get all the information about the email and save it here, and it will something look like this. OK, very simple. The good thing about and that you need to keep in note, <clears throat> the email that we are saving here is with .msg extension. So this is an Outlook extension. So what's going to happen with this, if I'm going to open this email, it will open straight in Outlook. So it's not like an HTML output of the body that you cannot just check later on or you need to open in the browser. So this is the benefit of it. Now let's go to the Power Automate flow. Initially, I was thinking to actually create the flow on the fly, but I know we have a limited time, so I'm going to just walk you through. There are a couple of things in this flow that you need to pay attention because if you're trying to build this, this will help you. The first thing is the trigger. And as we know, we are creating this flow for Outlook. So the trigger is going to be whenever an email arrives. Currently, we are in version three. That's the latest uh, trigger. So use that. Don't use the previous one because there are some update. Very simple. <clears throat> uh, whenever I'm going to receive the email in the inbox, you can also change in the other folders if you want, right? I'm going to include the attachment, so yes. And this is my text, so I'm saying the subject filter. So this flow is only going to get the email where the subject line has the permanent emails. That's what my text is. This can be anything else, but you need to define a particular subject text so that you are not running this on each and every email that you're receiving, right? <clears throat> So this is the so flow will trigger whenever you're going to receive the email. Now the next is next step is very important, right? So there are multiple ways you can extract the information from the email. One simple method is that whenever I'm going to receive the email, I can have an action or compose action where I can extract entire body. That's the message. Save it as an HTML and then create a file from that HTML. But as I said, that will that's going to give you an HTML file. But our primary goal is to actually save that email as an email. So there is an action in Outlook trig Outlook uh, connector that says export email. And what this action does, it's going to actually export the email that you have received as a Outlook extension that is .msg. So we're going to use that. We're going to 
use that action and pass the message ID. That is what the email is, right? So once you have this action, this action output of this action is going to be your exported email in the dot MSC action. This part is then the next action you are seeing here, get user profile. Now why we are doing this? The reason we are doing this, because if you remember, we want to create this folder here with the name of the sender. So to get that, if you just try to get the information from this, like from in the Outlook action, you will get the from, but this is going to have a lot of other unnecessary information that you don't want because then your folder name does not look good. So we're going to use the get user profile connector. We're going to pass the from uh, UPN or, or email address or what we are getting from that uh, email and get the user profile. And with that, what we will get, we'll get the username because that's what we're going to use to create the folder. OK, now the next section, you maybe simply understand that now we're going to go to the SharePoint. This is my SharePoint site. I'm going to this email library and I'm creating the folder. This is also a small, very small, simple uh, expression here. I'm just concatting the user profile output of the display name. So whoever sending me the email display name and I'm associating this with simple format date time UTC and then just using the entire timestamps with the hours, minute and seconds. Right, because if I don't include that, then you're going to just keep repeating the same folder name and it will not work properly. So I'm going to include the entire thing. So month, day, year, hours, minutes and second. That's what you see in the folder name here. Once we have the folder created, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to create the file. This is where we are getting that exported email and saving it back to the SharePoint folder. So as you can see here, the folder path is going to be path of my email document library and then we have the file name. This is something I have. Uh, again, I use the output of the subject, so whatever going to be the subject of that email dot MSG. So remember you need to still give the extension of the file when you are saving it because uh, it is not going to understand. So if you don't provide that, it's going to just save a file and when you try to open it, it will say that we, I don't understand what you're trying to open. So always say that OK dot MSG and you can also work on the name you can you can define whatever name you want and the file content this is the output of that export email that you can straight pass so this will be the your msg file <clears throat> so this action will create that entire email into that folder and next we're going to just go through the attachments if there's any <clears throat> this app method is also very simple we're going to use very similar create file action create file provide your site address folder path this is the path of the folder that we have just created file name and file content, this will you will get straight from your uh, Outlook action. So attachment name is going to give you the name of the attachment with the extension. You don't need to do anything here and the file content. So that's the flow. Very simple. As you can see, here, there's nothing much going on here. I'm going to quickly click test and I have a question for you all. I'm, I'm doing the test and I'm saying, OK, I'm going to manually test this flow. And now I'm going to go and send an email. I want chat to answer me that why I tried that rather just going and sending the email. I'll answer it once the demo is complete, right? So now my flow is waiting for me to test. So I'm going to go to my Outlook and send an email to myself. OK, so this is my email. Uh, I'm sending it to myself. As you can see here, my subject line is here and I have this simple method. I'm going to click send. Come back here. This should trigger automatically, hopefully, if it works. couple of minutes. We need like Jeopardy music or something right in the background. Yeah, like, yeah, doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> yeah, maybe because this has always happened, right? Did I receive the email? No, oh, maybe not. Yeah, OK, so it's triggered now. So the flow is running. As you can see here, this is going. So email has received. It has exported the email. Now it's trying to get the user profile. It's creating the folder and you should see if I refresh it, you should see the folder is created here and then uh, a few seconds ago. And if I drill down to it, I can see my email and my task. If I open the email, as you can see here, this is my email. It has all the information, what I have said and also my task. I'll go back. So the demo is done. Now I'll answer if anyone has not answer that why I actually prefer to test it rather just sending the email. So the answer is if you all know, most of you should know, all these automated flow, those are based on a trigger. If I just test it and send an email, 
uh, they're not going to trigger immediately. So they can take few seconds to few minutes to trigger. We have don't we don't have time because I need to give back time back to Luis. So when you test it, it trigger quicker. Uh, if I just send an email, then maybe I need to wait for 10 seconds, 20 seconds, and sometime a minute. So that's the reason. So if you are testing any of your automated flow on automated flow, just test it because it's the same thing. If you test it, it can trigger quickly and you can test and get the result uh, very, very, very fast. So this is my demo. Uh, I'm going to quick back quickly go back to my slides. Um, there's nothing much. Thank you very much for the time. And yes, they will say that uh, I'm coming after a long time. I was in the in the community a few years back, then couldn't come in. But yes, nice, nice to come back here. Nice talking to you. And I hope I'll come back again with some more complex demo. This was a simple one. So thank you very much. <music>